Today, I have something super, super exciting for you guys. I received beta access to a really useful and like brand new AI voiceover tool that is tailored specifically for video creators. And in this video, I'll tell you if this stuff is any good. Now, anyone who creates videos knows that voiceovers are generally pretty awesome and useful because they will turn random clips into a more proper story basically. Adding a voiceover will add emotion to your videos and will make everything look a lot more cohesive. Today I want to showcase a really cool AI feature that is specifically designed for video creators and it is made by Artlist who are also the sponsor of this video and one of my favorite companies for filmmakers. They gave me early access to this tool and asked me to test it out and just share my honest and unbiased opinion with my audience. So they're not telling me to say positive things, they just said, here, try it out and tell people whether you like it or not. Now first, let's speak about on how to create voiceovers. Well, normally you have to record them yourself which takes a little bit of time and it requires a space without too much noise pollution. So ideally a studio-like area. Now, if you're not a professional voice actor or you have the German accent like I do, or you just want an awesome female voice, for example, you could even consider to hire somebody, but that would cost you a bit of money on top. Or you know how to speak like Morgan Freeman, which is one of my secret skills that I haven't told you about. Now this whole voiceover recording process is becoming a lot, lot easier because Artlist has a new feature which allows you to generate a voiceover from within the platform. The way it works, you just copy paste a script and then you select a specific voice and the platform will generate an audio file for you to download. Easy. I remember um, the way we laughed, like everything was okay, even when it wasn't. We thought love would save us, but it just drifted away. Now we're strangers, just two souls lost in the chaos. I guess not all love stories are meant to last. P pretty cool, right? And that is pretty awesome because it streamlines the workflow like quite a lot. Okay, I am back on my computer and I got some sample footage right here. Now, first things first, I'm putting together a quick edit and then I find some cinematic music from a platform like Artlist that matches my video. So kind of the usual workflow up until this point, basically. Now, here is where it gets interesting. First, I'm gonna create a little voiceover script. And in fact, I will use another tool which is called ChatGPT to help me with this. If you don't know, ChatGPT is a free tool. So you just go on the website and then I will prompt something like, hey, please help me write an emotional voiceover for a section of B-roll that is shot in New York City. And what I also like to do is to say, like, give me five different variations. Cool. Now, GPT gives me a pretty decent starting point and some cool ideas to work with, but changed the AI generated text up quite a bit to make sure it doesn't sound too artificial. So in this example, I like to pick sentences that look good from one of those five variations then i'll patch it together and modify everything so it sounds like me you don't want to get caught like you know cheating basically now once i have my script i go to the artlist platform and on the left hand side i see this new feature so i go select that cool and then all i have to do is select one of these voices and then I can paste up to 5,000 characters in one go, which is a little more than like five minutes of voiceover, I believe. Now, if you want more, then you just have to split it in like kind of two times 5,000 characters kind of thing. And next you can select uh, one of the specific voices and all of those are recorded by professional voice actors that obviously have pretty awesome voices. And the best thing, all of them are exclusive to Artlist which means 
you won't be able to find these specific voices anywhere else on the internet. Next, let me show you how it actually sounds. So as I said, I copy paste the script right here and then I select this female voice, for example, which is a bit like soft spoken and cinematic, I guess. It's been 217 days since I lost my way back home and found myself in a real catastrophe, feeling so lost, so alone. But cat life taught me to always be positive. All of a sudden, a familiar scent. And wow, I think the sample footage they provide with this like outdoorsy stuff, I think that matches up like super well and sounds really, really cool. There are also a few settings that you can actually customize, such as the emotional range, which makes, I guess, the speaker more emotional, as the name suggests, the similarity to the original voice. So I found that this creates a little bit of like variance, I guess, and something that is called like style boost, which I guess makes things a little bit more dramatic. So for instance, the soft spoken voice, if you increase that slider will become more softer and more intense somehow. But what I found is that all of these sliders are a bit more of an art rather than an exact science and you just have to play around with it a bit. Now let's try out some other voices and let's choose this male one right here. For example, hit generate. Every child deserves someone who believes in them. A single person's faith can light a path to endless possibilities. When we support and encourage our children, we empower them to reach their fullest potential. Belief is the foundation of their dreams and with it, they can achieve anything. And yeah, wow, that, that sounds pretty awesome as well. And it's not very obvious that this is actually a computer speaking. What I also really, really like is the fact that they added these little tags to give you an idea of what specific type of video these voices are suited for. So for example, here you can see a tag like documentary or commercial. So obviously that is suited for this type of video. Now I'm gonna fast forward everything a tiny bit and I'm gonna show you what I have put together after I had selected a suitable voice. There's something about New York City that grabs you. Every block, every subway stop has its own vibe and story. It's loud, it's fast, and it just keeps moving. Walking these streets, you feel a buzz. It's like the city's got its own heartbeat. Whether you're here for the first time or call it home, there's always something new to discover. Pretty cool, right? And obviously that saved me the hassle of recording everything myself, which is pretty awesome. And now you might ask like, okay, how can I get access and how much does this whole thing cost? And no problem, I'm gonna break it down for you in the next chapter. Now, this kind of software usually costs a little bit of money. So for instance, before I got access to this Artlist beta, I was already signed up for another similar service that isn't tailored for videographers specifically though, and I'm paying like, 29 US dollars per month and that gives me only limited amount of quota. And as I said, I had signed up before Artlist actually released this new product. So I think I definitely have to cancel this right away because Artlist is actually cheaper and it includes music and other useful assets and it's like much better tailored towards me as a video creator. Now you might want to test it yourself and there are four ways on how to get access. Number one, if you are an Artlist subscriber, you can upgrade to an Artlist Max plan, which allows you to generate AI voiceovers. And needless to mention that you also get unlimited music, templates, stock videos, plugins, and all of that stuff. Now, option number two, if you are like me and you already have a subscription to Artlist Max, congratulations, you already have access to the AI voiceover tool included in your plan at no extra cost. You'll see it on the left hand side of the screen and you can basically start using it like right away. Now option number three is if you just want to create voiceovers and, and no other art list features, okay? There is a dedicated voiceover plan that gives you access to only that feature without the music and all of that stuff 
and that also comes at a, I guess, pretty decent price. And lastly, option number four, you can generate a small amount of voiceovers to kind of test it out when you sign up to Artlist and that is totally free of charge. But in order to get the full experience and get like 50,000 words of quota each month, you'll have to subscribe eventually. Now, what is my verdict? So I think generally speaking, I really do like AI tools as they tend to make my workflow much easier. And I also think in the next two years, it will be a super exciting era of content creation because things will become like faster and more convenient for us creators. Now, I think Artlist created something that is quite useful and will allow you to create faster on your own terms, sort of, and you won't have to rely that much on external resources. Now, personally, I think I really do like the tool and I even played it to some of my friends and they said they couldn't detect that it is a computer voice actually. And I'm pretty sure this technology will only get better and a bit more convincing over time. Now with the rise of AI, I noticed that a lot of like companies kind of started to rush things and often release like a lot of like gimmicky features only to kind of like tap their own shoulder and say like, oh yeah, wow, we are awesome. We offer AI functionality and at that time, I noticed that Artlist wasn't really one of them. And I always wondered when something like this would like eventually like come out. And to me, it seems that whatever they do, they seem to do things like quite properly and actually listen to their customers and release actual useful features after doing research and not just like throwing some gimmicks at the market. I am quite happy actually that my Artlist Max subscription unlocks this feature for free and I think I can highly recommend it and it's definitely not only a gimmick. Remember Artlist have sponsored this video but they are like super confident and they haven't like told me like hey please tell the people that it is only positive or something like this. They basically just said like hey Eric test it out for yourself tell your audience whether you like it or not. We want an honest opinion. We don't do like fake stuff. Now, I would be really curious to hear your feedback. So make sure to test it out for yourself. Now, if you don't have an Artlist plan yet, you can get two months for free with my affiliate link that I left in the video description below. And if you're interested in more useful AI tools for photo and video, I made a playlist right here. And with that said, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in one of the next videos.